Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Talk to C. I got Gene behind the camera. Show yourself, Gene. Show yourself. <laughs> I got a special guest for this video. His name is Falk. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up, bro? Welcome to New York. Thank you. It's Excited back. to be here. Today we're gonna go to the oldest bar in New York. It's snowing, it's freezing, but we're still gonna do it for the for the fans. For, for the, the fans boys out there. And the girls. For the boys and the girls. And we're gonna warm up with a little Brooklyn East IPA. Cheers. Oh, we're gonna do the tornado. Yeah, chart. let's do it. Cheers. When you come to the bar, there's only two things you can get. It's either light or dark beer. And right? they come in pairs. And they come in pairs. It's cash only. 1954, it was established. How is it? It's 1854. 1854. They only started allowing women in in 1970. 1970. And we don't agree with that here at Talk C, but it's a fact. <laughs> it is a fact. It is a fact. It's Cheers. Good. Cheers. This is a light beer, by the way. We have, we have four beers, four light beers, and we're gonna be asking each other questions, but the catch is that we have to chug a beer before every question. Cheers, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna start and we're gonna go counterclockwise. All right, first question I have, what's your biggest insecurity? Yeah, Paul, you go first. These are, these are pointed questions. Pointed questions. Open-ended question. Open-ended question, I'd say, maybe like not achieving as much as I would like to achieve. Okay. That's a good one. Like being worried, I don't I don't I don't do as much no not I don't make it just I don't do as much as I would want to do. That was pretty deep. Right? That was good. Look at that. What about you, Ed? Uh, I was gonna go for something much more superficial. Okay. Uh, that I sweat a lot. You sweat a lot? Oh, really? Oh, that's wow. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, for me, I didn't notice that, by the way. Yeah, I, I sweat a lot. lot. Nah, he does, because I do too. We're always talking about it. For me, I'd say it's probably getting fat because I was fat as a kid. And I hate it. And I hated it. I feel like and, now, of, and now that I gain weight, like, I'm being super insecure about that because it's horrible. I feel like a lot of people that were fat it's when fat, they were young have that insecurity. Insecure. Yeah. I think what JP said is true, I feel that too. And also, I, I wish I had the same personality in English as I do in Spanish. I feel like that's you also, wish you could, you wish like you could express yourself the same way in English like, as you do in Spanish. I feel like that's yeah. also the reason why all four of us, the have been people that speak in Spanish. It's true! All right, so that's the first question. Pretty good, pretty good question. Pretty good, pretty good. All right. All right, do you prefer <laughs> living where you're currently living now or your hometown? Is a question for everyone? For everyone, yes. Okay. All of you start, uh, live in New York, hometown Miami, Puerto Rico, Miami slash Venezuela. And for me, it's in Miami, but my hometown is Caracas. Venezuela, yeah. Caracas. Both of you are from Caracas. Right, Caracas. Okay. Yeah. I think just like I don't want to get too deep, but like just like a, as a city, like which one you prefer? No, just where do you prefer? Like where where would you prefer to live? I say Miami more because Miami has a beach. Yeah, I say Miami more because Miami has a beach. The only thing that Miami misses from Caracas is that Caracas has the mountains. It's like Miami is very flat. But I say Miami more than Caracas. Okay. I also have the boys. But you have boys in Caracas too. I do have boys in Caracas too. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. <laughs> right now I live in New York and I love New York. I'm having fun. But I would definitely prefer, I'll, I'll put Miami as, a home, as my hometown because I moved when I was 10. I would definitely, I would prefer long term Miami. Because the heat right now, we're freezing out here. <laughs> exactly. I definitely prefer Puerto Rico. And I want to live there when I get older. So. I prefer Puerto Rico too. Yeah. And you have? Best, best place on earth. Um, yeah, I, I, I would say Miami long term, like you. 
Uh, but I think right now, like the current age we're at, like I definitely prefer New York. Because the boys, the boys are in New York. Best yeah. place to be. In your twenties, there's no better yeah, place to like, be. You have to be. No, like like career-wise, yeah. just like the things can do everything. Like, All right. I, I their twenties, it's it's for New York. Cheers. Yeah. Love it, boys. I feel like I'm connecting with you guys on a more deeper level. And getting more in touch on a deeper level. That's cute. All right, Falcon or Divi? Thank you, I think I have a good one. All right, go. Who is your role model? And I prefer an answer that's not family. Uh, so like, no, like think about someone who's like, I would say like someone who's like famous. What if Whoa. you don't right. have one famous? Like, oh, yeah, no, I have one. Start about that. Start that about that. Start no, no, no. So someone you can start. I'll start. Might be controversial, but uh, someone I look up to is Dave Portnoy. Yeah. He's actually, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I think he'd be my favorite. It's not controversial. I thought you were going to say something like, Oh, 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 he says what he thinks. He doesn't care about the whole like cancel culture, what's going on. And he's a grinder. He's been grinding since 2004. Created Barstool. Extremely funny guy. And when we always say that like you can hate on Barstool because you think whatever they're whatever, the guy created over 150 jobs for people. No, it's, he's like, awesome. it's insane. And, yeah. For me, for me, it's Dave Pornoy, and I'd say the next one, and you're gonna know this, it's Sam Walton, the guy who founded Walmart. It's kind of the same thing. I feel like for us immigrant, it's like we always read these books, and at the end, it's like, why not me? Like, why can I do this? So he created this big company out of nothing, and that's what I always think there. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna say recently this person has really been a role model for me. Uh, um, it's just like the way that he fights for like how competitive he like how dedicated he is and that he's still fighting he's 35 and he still wants it and also just like the way he carries himself like he's very humble very calm guy like response to like very nice with the fans very nice with the press like never gets angry like truly angry and so like that sort of mentality to me i think is very awesome like, and eugene and mine would be it's like a historical figure, I'd say. Oh, no. Major Dick Winters. Oh, nice. Yeah. Which one's that? Which one's that? It's people usually know him from the HBO series Band of Brothers. Oh, yeah, okay. it's my favorite series. And it's a mini series about the 101st Airborne Division, which is which were the first paratroopers. Um, that were the first paratroopers ever that they used in World War II. He's the natural definition of a leader. And you that's, have that's a, who you... Sorry. Yeah, I was just saying, because I feel like I am... Yeah, I hate this guy. That's, 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 that's what I was gonna say. What I was gonna say is that that's who you can be if you go to World War Three and you're drafted. Is that's true. That if you get drafted, you can, you be, get drafted. can I ask oh, a hopefully, hopefully there's no World Can I ask a sub question? Cheers. Okay. Uh, my oh, this is gonna yeah, be a, this is gonna be a ter uh, personal question. I have, I have. Should I add? A Bro, you already. Oh. I, I'm sorry. This is a really, really, really really hard. 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 So my question, my question is three questions, but they're super quick. <laughs> okay, okay. He's <laughs> that guy, man. He's that guy. All right. So, so I three questions. So okay. So three questions. First question is, Friday night, walk into a bar, all your homies are there. Walk into the bartender, give me up. What is that for you? Uh, okay. Like go okay. to drink. Go right, to drink. Uh, gin and tonic. Gin and tonic. Whiskey water. Rum and coke. Yeah. Right. Whiskey no, water. No, no, rum and coke with cheap rum, it's not good. That's my problem. Yeah, I love yeah. rum and coke, but cheap rum. But US, cheap no. gin is also terrible. Terrible. But, but I can I can pound it down. For, I like my my good rum. Like having no, nice of course. Rum, but you know? I like my good gin. You know, like I like a Hendrix or. Wait, wait, and then usually usually I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, yeah, exactly. Usually get a good gin. And another question is, go to shot. Go to shot. Go to shot for me to give. Yeah, everyone's yeah, tequila. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Tequila, yeah. The next question Bobby is. Bobby shot impossible. Whiskey shot impossible. Rum shot impossible. Like it's like about to. Fireball. Fireball's good. Fireball's, fireball's good. Yeah. Fireball's good. Fireball's good. Yeah. Fireball's good. Next question is. Yeah. Your favorite books and beers video. Oh, nice. nice. Uh, Sorry, favorite talk to see video. Talk to see. Talk to see. Uh, uh, my favorite. My favorite talk to see video that Barney has done. Was it one about how reading has changed my life? Because we went off with the editing, it was pretty personal, so that's him. And the one from all the other ones that we've done together, I think the awards were pretty fun because we were also like seven years deep and we had a lot of fun doing it. I and think, it is, I think it's been the only drunk video in Talk to See because I was, I, was I think one or two videos have been somewhat in Talk to See. 45 minutes, not a lot of people have watched it, but it's. Wait, now, by no, no, you have to say your favorite Falcon video. My favorite Falcon video is Green Lights. Green uh, that's 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 I, I, I was going to say Yeah, yeah Green Lights. I actually texted Falcon. I texted me. I, like, I haven't even read the book, by the way. I haven't read the book. Great book. So far. I haven't even read the book, but I remember texting Falk the next day 
like wow, this is really, this yeah. is really inspired. The, 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 like, it's the, really good. The speech at the end, the monologue is yeah. great. Like talking about Venezuela, how it yeah. was a yellow light and then it turned. Uh, it was a red light, turned yellow, turned green. green. Yeah. Great video. And Eugene, this is just because it's recent and it's in my head. But oh, the video that you made about um, immigration. Oh, ETS? ETS. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that oh, series. Yes. That I really, series. I really liked it because I think like you, you went, I, and I'll do an audible mention too. Barney when he did the when he talked about LBOs. That one was I liked it. It got a little technical. It had, he had the little screen in the bottom with him writing. Yeah. No, oh, every, like, every, every, like, like, every video like, that Marty like writes is actually like a banger, yeah. bro. And the CPA series has been. Yeah, I, agree. I think the CPA series. Oh, there's honor oh, right? it's, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy how our favorite videos are like they have like sixty to eighty views, and like the videos have the CPA videos have like I think all of them have three three out of the four have more than a thousand views. One of them has like four thousand views. And they're like, what? Yeah, I just made right, it because yeah. they were getting views. But right. I, I didn't enjoy, per se, like, making them. But I think, the, I think those videos are interesting because um, they're, they're a little bit them. more personal. And by the way, um, I'm probably going to call it, like, 40% of everything we said. Probably like 60. 40, like Probably 70. 60, yeah. I'd say more like 65. But it's good to have it for the, for the men's. For the men's. Yeah. And I'm sorry for if I go on for being terrible to, I don't know what happened to him. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> like and subscribe. Leave comments down below. Hit the, the bell to get notifications when we post videos. And I hope you all have a great day. Ah, I'm going to sign off. Peace. This is this. Peace.